All right, so I wanted to have another little conversation about gaskets. This, if you follow this page, you know I'm kind of always ranting about this, but I just thought I'd give you another example. So I spread some, some dust over that, uh, just to trying to get a view of just how deep that is. That is almost a plies depth. You can see right here that that's almost cracked through the outer ply and, and, and into the second ply. So what's caused that? Why, why is that when you have, let's say this Yamaha from the 70s, which does have a minor impression of the lug no gaskets in this time period so there is a minor impression of the lug but you can't even feel it there is no depth to it at all that is just a little scratchy scratch in the finish so now this this is this is way this is way deep it doesn't doesn't really matter which one you go to those those puppies are are deep and the bottom side of the lug here a little less a little less deep and that's because the lug is rocking and what it's rocking back and forth on based on your tension and how aggressive you play what this is rocking up back and forth on is the gasket now rubber on an acoustic instrument is silly. I defy you to find another acoustic instrument that they put little rubber things all over. So here's what happens with these gaskets, guaranteed. Three, five, maybe 10 years at most. Hard plastic, they'll last longer. Um, but these guys go pretty quick. I just, I just grabbed a handful of them that were, you know, average example of what what's going on and most of these again are torn worse towards the head because the tension is allowing the lug to flex so at this point the shell the lug is high centered on this part and loose on this part and and teetering rocking back and forth so this means that you're taking a tuning part that is responsible for holding a specific amount of tension and asking that part to do that while it's flexing. I mean, if you put rubber gaskets under a tuning peg on a guitar, it would just be an utter mess to tune. And that's what, what most people experience is an utter mess to tune. Now, the, the, this is breaking the shell and breaking the lug. These feet, I know that some of you folks have already experienced this. Uh, that foot snaps off. And that is also because the lug is rocking, flexing. Um, rubber gaskets, hard plastic is debatable. I haven't seen those really do this degradation thing. Leather probably being the worst. So eventually, as that degrades and gets thinner, the gasket, uh, your screws are loose because they were tightened to the old thickness. And because of the rubber, you don't hear the vibration. You don't know that your screws are loose. And you're, as people who put gaskets on drums have a screw loose. But that's, a, anyway, the, the loose lug lets is what causes those feet to snap off to cause this little this little boss to break off if you have something loose you want to hear a rattle it, it's a good thing it's like the warning clip on your brakes that squeaks to let you know hey you're gonna lose your brakes um and i just i can't figure out why anyone uses gaskets i can't find a, a reason other than in the very beginning what was going on 
was people were trying to put imported lugs on Keller shells and you were basically combining metric with standard and it wasn't wasn't working out. So a lot of the custom guys to be able to use these 50 cent lugs uh, were, were putting gaskets under them. Some people were even hand cutting their own gaskets before they had China do it for them. And, um, and so that's when the gaskets became a thing. And then of course you got the big boys at NAM show photographing the booths of these custom guys and you know, the custom guys had to come up with a story for why the gasket was there. Oh, it's to protect your finish. I don't know, man. This finish does not look protected to me. The shell is not protected. The lug is not protected. Nothing here is protected. When, again, 1970s. They always had these little teeth marks on the Yamaha because for some reason the Yamaha inserts will stab into the shell. But this is, that's a 70s finish, and all there is is a fine line scratch from uh, the casting. Um, there is no reason for gaskets, folks. None at all. They're a detriment to your drums. Uh, the resonance, the tuning stability, the, the boing, you've heard it. The dodgeball sound, the boing. This is, this is your boing. Um... I, I, I can't stop preaching about this. It's it's silly. There's no reason. Take those gaskets out and you will be so much happier. Do you know why a modern uh, Black Beauty doesn't sound like an original Black Beauty? Gaskets. Take those, take those fucking gaskets off of there. You folks will be stoked. Um, cheers. I, I hope that helps.